of my new who I can speak. I can't speak. Hey there, Kazen here, and welcome back to Always Doing. Before I get started, I want to say hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. I think some of you found me via Doris at Aldi Books, as well as Sean at The Book Maniac, and most recently, Olive over at A Book Olive gave me a shout out. Thank you. So I'll be linking all three of them down below because if you like one of us, you'll probably like all of us. So you can give them a look if you like. All right, so on to today's video. Last time I did a book haul, I noted that it may be the only one I do for a while because I don't buy that many physical books. But when I mentioned that I may be able to do an art haul, several people said they would like that. So here I am with a haul of advanced readers copies. So these are books that are slated for publication but haven't been published yet. I do follow the US publishing calendar and publishing world and the dates I'll be giving you are for US releases. However, this far out in advance, things can change, so please keep that in mind. Recently, as I've been looking for ARCs, I've had an eye to nonfiction November and have picked up Quite a few that are nonfiction, so this entire haul will be nonfiction arcs. I'm going to start with the arcs that I'm reading right now, actually. The first is The A to Z of Gender and Sexuality by Morgan Lev Edward Holub. It is from Jessica Kingsley Publishers and is scheduled to be released on April 18th. I want to learn more about gender and sexuality because I, like everyone else, I have my own, but there are lots and lots of other ones out there that I know more or less about. In recent times, I've seen romance novels, for example, that say someone is demi something or gray something, like gray ace, and I've been flummoxed, not really knowing what that means. And when you search on the internet, you can find some really good definitions, but sometimes the definitions are kind of sketchy. So I've been looking for a resource to look to when I have these sorts of questions, and this has been it. I've liked it directly from the introduction because he goes through his own identities and his own privileges and his own views on how words should be used. He doesn't want to police anyone saying, oh, you cannot use that word because that word is evil or anything like that, but more to explain where words came from, what their meanings are, and how they can be problematic. And he also gives the reader permission to disagree with him, which I like because he does get a little opinion-y in parts not in a bad thou shalt kind of way, but in a you should maybe avoid this word sort of way. I'm only part way through right now, so expect a full review in hopefully my next wrap up. The next book, and another one that I hope to get to in November, but I haven't started yet, is An Elegant Defense, The Extraordinary New Science of the Immune System, A Tale in Four Lives, by Matt Richtel. This is scheduled to be released on March 12th from William Morrow. If you look at the cover, it looks like there's two subtitles, like the subtitle has a subtitle. So is that a sub-subtitle? If you've seen my October wrap-up, you know that I recently read a book about organ transplantation, and one of the big reasons that it's even possible is the development of immunosuppressants, so drugs that are used to tamp down your immune system so you don't reject the organ. The immune system and transplants are inexorably linked and it seemed like the perfect time to read this right after reading that. And it's also a part of the body that isn't extremely well understood. Especially now, there's a lot of autoimmune diseases that are becoming more prevalent and some other diseases that were thought to have no relation to the immune system that it turns out they actually kind of sort of do. So I'm curious to read about all of that. The next book I have is also medical nonfiction because me and is called All That Remains, a renowned forensic scientist on Death, Mortality, and Solving Crimes by Sue Black. This has already come out in the UK, I think, but it's going to be released in the US on March 5th by Arcade. Believe it or not, I don't watch too many shows like CSI, at least not on the regular, but I do love me a memoir by a forensic pathologist or anybody really dealing with autopsies. I hope that doesn't sound gruesome. I've read a bunch, but I don't think I've read any by a British doctor so I'll be curious to see what's the same and what's different on the other side of the pond. So those are the three that I'm either reading now or very much look forward to getting to this nonfiction November, but I do have some other ones on my radar that I hope to get to sooner rather than later. One is Muhammad, 40 Introductions by Michael Muhammad Knight. He converted to Islam at the age of 16. I didn't know this until I read the blurb of the book 
but there are things called hadiths, and those are sayings and actions that are attributed to Muhammad, and they number by the tens of thousands. And there's a tradition where Muslim scholars curate collections of 40 hadiths to illustrate their understanding of the Prophet or, particular, or aspects of Islam. So this book is, in that tradition, it's 40 ways to look at Muhammad. And while Knight does this, he looks at issues that are very top of mind nowadays, be it gender, law, and that sort of thing. I think the way that he, the book is put together is really interesting, so I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Next is Reclaiming Our Space, How Black Feminists Are Changing the World From the Tweets to the Streets by Feminista Jones. It's coming out January 29th from Beacon Press. The author is a black woman who's a social worker, activist, and cultural commentator. Black women have been at the forefront of social change for a very long time, and you don't have to look very far for examples, just think of the hashtags and the um, organized groups Black Lives Matter, Say Her Name, Black Girl Magic. I have so much respect for the women that have been doing this work for so long, and I want to learn as much as possible. Next is Skeleton Keys, The Secret Life of Bone by Brian Zwitek. It's scheduled to be released March 5th from Riverhead Books. The blurb says this is about the complex life of bones both inside your body and out, and apparently the author isn't a doctor, but he just really likes bones, so I'm looking forward to reading not only what's sure to be the more medically side, because I studied bones recently, and they're kind of amazing. The way that the cells regenerate, and the different sections of bone, and the different, it's growth plates, it's, it's cool, just take my medical geek word for it. But not only that, apparently he also goes into fossils and other things as well, so yeah, sounds cool. And the last book I have is a nonfiction book in translation. It's Questions I Am Asked About the Holocaust by Hedy Fried, translated from the Swedish by Alice E. Olson. It'll be released by Scribe on April 2nd. Fried and her family were taken from their homes in Romania and taken to Auschwitz where her parents were murdered and she and her sister were forced to do hard labor until the end of the war. At that point, she moved to Sweden and continued living her life there. She's 94 now, and she spends her life answering questions, especially of young people, of what the Holocaust was like and what it was. And there's this quote in the blurb, which I think is so fitting. There are no stupid questions, nor any forbidden ones but there are some questions that have no answer. So this book is her answering questions about uh, the experience uh, that she had and the times that she lived in. Considering what's happening around the world right now, this is a little bit more timely of a read than I wish it were. And while I have read some books about World War II and historical fiction that takes place in World War II, I still have a bunch of holes in my knowledge, so this looks like a way to fill them. So there we have it, seven arcs that I'm looking forward to getting to, both in nonfiction November and beyond. Did any of them catch your eye? Let's have a chat down in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!